everybody. Happy Wednesday. Hope you're all okay. We're just going to recap the two different ways we've learned so far of making the just sound. So Monday, we looked at these three letters and we use this way if it follows a short vowel sound like a, i, e, o and u. And then yesterday we looked at this way. These two letters make j and we use it after a consonant sound. So I'm just going to hold up some words that we've learned so far. See if you can read them. Good. Hopefully that jogged your memory. Okay, so today we're going to look at another way that we might read and spell words with the j sound in. And today it looks like this. <coughs> Usually we'd look at that and say, Mrs. Flint, that's a g. That's all, that's the letter G, it makes the G sound. But it doesn't always. Sometimes the letter G makes the J sound and we call it the soft G, the soft G sound. So in some words, we need to read them and check, is it a G or is it a J? So let's have a look. We'll see what I mean when we read the words. So if we look here, I wouldn't say g, e, or gel. The word is gel. Gel. I might use some hair gel, or more recently, I've been using lots of hand gel. Okay? Gel. Here we've got m, a, j, ik. M, a, j, ik. Magic. I wish I could do magic tricks. Let's have a look here. T age. St age. Well done. Stage. If I'm a performer, I perform on stage. Down here. J uh, b, e, o. J, uh, b, l. Gerbil. Ger gerbil. When I was younger, I had a pet gerbil. Okay. <clears throat> k, a, j. K, a, j. Cage. I kept my gerbil in a cage. Don't try this one. J I A N T. J I A N T. Giant. Giant. In year one, we we read Grandad's Secret Giant. Here we've got another animal. J I R A. Silent. Ghost E at the end. J E R A. Giraffe. A giraffe has a very, very long neck. <clears throat> and last one. J E N T O. J E N T O. Gentle. Gentle. I'm holding a baby, I have to be very gentle. <coughs> Excuse me. So today, for your Wednesday spelling challenge, we're going to do scribble spellings. Scribble spellings. So in a page of your book, I just want you to get your pen and do lots of scribbles or lots of swirls all over the page. 
like this. Okay. So lots of swirls, lots of scribbles, and then you're going to fill in the gaps, writing in different colours. So I'm going to start with pink. I'm going to go for the word gel. And I've written gel four times there and filled in that gap. I'm going to change colours. I'm going to go for a red. I'm going to do the word magic. And I've written the word magic and filled in that space. I'll do one more for you. I'm going to do the word cage. Cage. Okay. So I'm going to keep going and fill in my spaces with different colours, copying the spellings really carefully. Okay, looks like this. Right, so I'll hold up the words again for you. Good, remember to send your work over to Dojo for us all to look at. See you soon.